Ben Horner for MBTV here with Nathan Dale. Um, we're just finished training. Um, you've been over in Tenerife and um, put some sparring in with yeah. Liam Walsh. Um, how does it feel, you know, to have a date set for your return? Yeah, I mean that's that's, that's great. Now I've been putting the work in. I've been um, the runs. Everything has just been spot on. Now I'm just I'm just ready now. I just want to get get going. I mean I can't stress it enough. Now it's been a long 15 months, but. We're finally, there's finally light at the end of the tunnel, so all good. You've obviously been spending time in the gym, um, sort of working on things that don't involve the hand. And uh, what have you learned in that time? You know, it's a long time to spend in the gym without fighting, so there's going to have been a lot of learning over yeah. that. Well, yeah, I mean, Anything that's it. I mean, there's um, there's always something you can do in the gym. Obviously, the, the, the hand stopped a lot of it, but I mean, the runs, the circuit training, that sort of stuff. Even the mental game of it, I've been progressing on, so it's been a, it's not been a waste of time. People are going to be uh, travelling away for that return fight to Braintree. Uh, what can they expect to see? Not only the fans from Norwich who are going to be travelling over, but the fans that are going to be watching from Essex and elsewhere. Yeah, I mean, that's a difficult one because it's 15 months out. I'm now getting back from there. People are expecting, expecting this big. I don't know. I don't know what people are really expecting from me. To be fair, but they it's going to be fireworks. I'm I'm ready. I'm more than ready. Like I say, we just got to give it, give everything on the night and get the victory, and then move on. Headline in the bill, stable mate, um, Billy Bird, fighting for another title. Um, <coughs> where do you see titles coming along for you? Obviously, like you say, you've been out for a long while, and it is your first fight back, so. This sort of jumping the gun a little bit, but when, when and how are you looking for titles? Look, so I want to get, get this one out of the way. Hopefully, everything's all good with a hand, and that'll, that'll be fine. I'll be happy to go for an eight, ten round in my next fight, and then see what happens after that. Look, so every fight at the time at the minute, but I want to be moving forward every every fight. Anyone looking for tickets? Um, yeah. How can anyone look for tickets? Get hold of me. I'll come and see. You, I'll drop them off. On Twitter, Facebook, anything, my number will be on the posters when they're out. Um, I'll be coming to sort of come there. Now, hopefully there'll be a coach on as well. So um, that'll be hopefully expecting a good night. Touching on one thing, um, again, stalemates of your own. You've been out sparring with one of them, the Walsh brothers. Not only are they the first twins to win the British titles, they're now the first twins to defend their British yeah. titles on the same night. What are you expecting, you know, not only from the twins, but from... The, the support that they take down to copper box. The support they have is unbelievable from Cromers. Even from Norwich as well, they, they have that crossover, which is very which is good. I'm glad that people are supporting them. I mean, that's a massive thing. But there's only, there's only two results, what's going to happen at, at that night, and they're both going to be knockout victories for them. So, it's brilliant. Good. There you go. So not only knockouts from the Twins, we'll hopefully see a knockout from you and Brady. Oh, most definitely. I'm, that's what I'm looking for. So brilliant. We'll, we'll see Thanks what for happens. your time, Thank and you. I'll speak to you again soon. Yes.